We were talking about angles in triangles, and now we want to talk about interior and exterior angles. So remote interior angles are two interior angles that are not adjacent to one exterior angle. And it's kind of hard to see by this drawing right here. Exterior angles are really easy to see, but the interior angles are a little bit more difficult to see. And so this is angle one. This is angle three. And this is angle two. Those are the interior, those blue angles are the interior angles. And so two interior angles that are not adjacent to one exterior angle. So if we're looking at um, angle one and angle three are remote interior to angle four. So angle one and angle three are remote interior to angle, so one and three. One is adjacent to six, three is adjacent to five, so the only other exterior angle is angle four. Another example that we can do real quick, uh, angle three and angle two. So we have angle three and angle two. The only one that they're not adjacent to is angle six. All right, and so we have to we had to understand what remote interior angles were in order to to understand what exterior angle theorem is. So exterior angle theorem: the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measure of the two remote interior angles, or the non-adjacent angles. So for this one, what, what this means is we, we maybe we're trying to figure out what this angle is right here. So the name of this angle is angle RAB. And we want to figure out what is the measure of angle RAB. So by the exterior angle theorem, it says that this exterior angle is equal to the other two angles added together. So we can write out an equation. The measure of angle RAB is equal to the measure of angle C plus the measure of angle B. And then we can substitute in the values that we know. We don't know what the measure of measure of angle R A B is, so we'll wait. We know that the measure of angle C is equal to 64 degrees, and we know that the measure of angle B is 68 degrees. And then when we add those two together, we get the measure of angle R A B. is equal to 132 degrees. Now, the reason, we'll just review real quick. The reason we couldn't call this just angle A, because we don't know, are we talking about this angle A? Are we talking about the straight angle A? Are we talking about this angle A? If we say angle B, we know that there's only one angle there. Angle C, there's only one angle at angle at this intersection right here, at this vertice, there's multiple angles we could be talking about. That's why we have to name it with three uh, capital letters.